Fort Zealandia in Paramaribo, Suriname. Fort Zealandia is a fortress in Paramaribo, Suriname. In 1640 the French built a wooden fort on the spot, which during the British colonial days was reinforced and became Fort Willoughby. It was taken by the Dutch in 1667 and renamed Fort Zealandia. Fort Zealandia stands proudly on the shore of the Suriname River in the shade of centuries-old mahogany trees. This is where Paramaribo originated and the small trading colony founded here has grown into a vibrant capital with 290,000 inhabitants. A visit to the fort is not only an opportunity to learn more about Surinamese history but also to admire the views from the terrace of the museum cafe. This is one of the few stone monuments in the mostly wooden historic center of Paramaribo. And it is precisely those characteristic red bricks among the exotic vegetation and palm trees on the riverbank that lend Fort Zealandia its unique charm. The star-shaped fort has three bastions and various buildings that frame a small courtyard. The outside walls are surrounded by white wooden houses with large verandas built in the 19th century to accommodate the officers of the Dutch colonial army. The establishment of the fortress Fort Zeelandia on the banks of the Suriname River marks the beginning of the city of Paramaribo. Next to the stone fortress, there were some wooden and a couple of brick houses on the premises. The training area that laid behind the fortress developed into what nowadays is known as Independence Square, it used to be called Government Square and later Orange Square after the Royal Dutch family. It is a pity that nowadays the connection between the fort proper, the other buildings on the old fortified area and the square is hampered by the hermetically closed area of Buiden Society Eat Head Park, which these days serves as the Parliament of Suriname. In the old day the whole area was an amalgamation of sturdy stone, warm timber under a mahogany canopy and a wide grass lawn with distinct buildings at its borders and a view of the river at one end. It is said that around 1644, on the very spot of the fortress, there was a stronghold of Palisades. This was captured by the English in 1650, who reinforced it. Willoughby, the English commander-in-chief reconstructed the fortress in stone and named it Fort Willoughby. Abraham Christensen, from the Dutch province of Zeeland, reconquered the place in 1667 and renamed it Fort Zeelandia. The fortress is situated on a high plot of land in a sharp bend in the river Suriname. Its pentagon therefore has three bastions facing the river. The two other bastions, between which the entrance to the fort, face inland, where in former times a wall and moat supplied extra protection. Both these two bastions, the wall and moat vanished in the course of time. The fortress lost its strategic value after the French under Custard stopped fair play in warfare and attacked the plantations in 1712, instead of waging a heroic battle to conquer the fort. A new fort, for New Amsterdam, was erected at the confluence of the rivers Suriname and Coage, thus guarding both the plantations and the city. The development of Fort Zealandia was not based on a master plan except for the concept of a moated pentagon, which was the usual concept for a fortress in those days. Throughout the years quite some offhand construction took place and the complex changed purpose. Parts were neglected or fell into decay, then all of a sudden there was a hoss in construction and restoration. Bastions degenerated into garbage dumps, water seeped into walls, the gunpowder storage proved to be too humid, a watchhouse collapsed cannons turned out to be of too small caliber to be functional. In 1772 it was even considered to tear down the fortress, also because it had practically no military value anymore. But demolition would have been more expensive than to have it remain. Too many buildings were constructed leaning against its walls which then would also had to be taken down. Suriname Museum Today the fort is home to the Suriname Museum. The various buildings house period rooms and exhibit halls with pictures and historical objects. These displays depict the indigenous past, the colonial era and the various ethnic cultures of Suriname. The former gunpowder warehouse features a recreated 19th century pharmacy with an original counter and medicine bottles. One of the former prison cells now serves as a museum shop with delft blue tiles on the wall. 
you will be able to purchase local handicraft products, postcards and books about Suriname. On Sundays there are guided tours of the fort. The tour doesn't only cover the fort's colorful history but also the corporal punishment that slaves were subjected to here. A memorial plaque on one of the bastions recalls a more recent tragedy, the December murders of 1982. The bullet holes are still visible in the wall on the riverside, 15 political opponents of Desi Bowders's military regime were executed here. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.